Now you mentioned previously in the interview that you're straight. Mm -hmm. Okay, just curious because some sometimes they're they're not all the way straight. I'm all the way straight. <laughs> all the way straight. All right. Now, what do you look for in a guy? Um, you have to just match, like, I'm not going to say my fly because that's so corny, but you just got to have the same sense of humor. You got to have, like, ambition. You can't be a bum. Like, you have to, like, be on your grind because I'm on my grind right now. I'm trying to make sure that when I'm older, I'm set. So I don't want to just have a guy, like, just on my coattail following. You know, I need a guy who's doing something for himself. And I want a guy who's funny and caring and not a cheater and loving. And I just want this whole list that I feel like is almost impossible to find. Now, what about looks-wise, build-wise? Is there something you, um, you like specifically? No, I'm really not that specific. I've dated, like, a, a big variety of guys. Like, I've dated tall guys. I've dated short guys. I've dated big guys. I've dated small guys. I've dated... Um, mixed guys, I've dated black guys, I've dated white guys, I've dated um, Middle Eastern guys, like I've touched every little base. I'm not trying to say I'm fast, but I'm just saying I like to dibble and dabble in different flavors. Do you intimidate guys? Um, no, I always make sure that um, that they feel really comfortable with me, that they can like open up and talk to me like right off the bat, like I'll just crack a joke or something, just so they know that I'm not just like this like yeah, so where are you taking me to eat type girl, you know? <laughs> it's not about that with me. Most romantic thing someone has done for you or you have done for someone else? Um, the most romantic thing that someone has done for me, I guess it's like this, I, well, I'm dating this guy right now and um, we got in like an argument or something and it's kind of cheesy, but like he sent like flowers and pizza to my job. Um, which is Topshop in Lenox, um, but he sent it there, and I thought that was very sweet and not, I mean, maybe not romantic, but I thought it was really cute. Now, do you prefer industry men or non-industry? Non-industry, for sure. Why? Because I feel like it's just too much going on. I feel like it's girls everywhere, parties everywhere, lies everywhere. It's just too much, too much. Have you experienced boyfriend trouble with the modeling career? Um, like, have you had to pause it, almost quit? Yeah. Um, that sort of thing? Well, I didn't really have to pause it or anything, but I know back when I was dating this guy, um, like one of my first boyfriends, I kind of put like my whole life on pause for this guy, and I up and moved to a different country to live with this guy, and it put like a huge paused on everything I was doing. I kind of like just turned into like a little housewife. Um, but I came back down here and um, turned everything around and I got signed to a modeling agency, got a new man, um, you know, got things popping. So it's all good. Hardest part about being in a relationship in your modeling career? It's the trust. Um, you know, there are going to be attractive guys around me when it comes to modeling. There are going to be industry guys around me because it is the entertainment business as a whole. So guys have a hard time trusting me. They think I'm gonna like open my legs to any guy that just walks around that has money or a chain on. But um, they fail to realize that I'm a woman with morals.